Hey guys, what's up? It's AJ and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. Today's video, we'll be starting the subscriber co-op. So now let's meet the team. My name's AJ. I'm the leader of the co-op and let's go down the line. Eolus. <laughs> Hi, my, my name's Eolus. I'm uh, I'm good at nothing. I have I bring nothing to the team. Tarzi. Uh, hello, my name is Tarzi. I'm good at Slayers and Bizarre Flipping. Um, I'm I'm Gamerals. Um, I'll be doing like mobiling, so yeah, and hobo. I'm hobo. I love farming. <laughs> so looking back at this, I somehow did manage to forget to say the entire goal of this co-op. But the goal of co-op is to get a Hyperion as fast as possible. And at the end of this series, we'll be giving away the Hyperion to one of the four other co-op members. So stay tuned to find out who wins the co-op. Wait. Okay. Um, First one in the village, let's go! <laughs> I was already here. Oh. When they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. First bus door, order of business? Lover. No. no. Um. So I say first order of business is to unlock the bazaar. Nice this only breeds only breeds weakness. No. And I got it. Okay. Farming seven. Let's go. Alright, now we have unlocked the bazaar. Now begins the slow grind of trying to get combat twelve so we can unlock the end. Also, guys, if you guys are not currently subscribed, please subscribe right now as it really helps the channel out, and I really do appreciate it. So, uh, guys, I logged off, logged on after logging off last night, and, uh, yeah, uh, co-op's been quite a bit. Still strolling, and, uh, yeah, today's day two. So now that you guys have seen what I've done personally for the co-op, now let's see what the rest of my co-op members did. So when I logged on today, they've uh, they made a little bit of progress to say the least on a massive vertical netherwort farm, which is so nice for farming. Not only that, they have also got nearly they, well they've started on the sugarcane farm here, but have the outline already done for two full layers, and you can see there looking to build a total of four layers. Oh, this will be pumpkin farm. Okay, nice. So everything is coming together quite nicely. All right, so now before we wrap up this video, we're going to be doing a damage test. So as you guys can see, I currently only have the seven just really basic talisman. Here are my stats right here. I have collected zero, only one fairy soul so far. So I've been slacking on those. And then I'm going to decide if I'm going to have to grind, gather all the fairy souls or not. And see if it's really worth it. Here, so as you can guys see, I have fierce, full fierce ender armor, which is quite nice in the end. I've got an aspect of the end and a sharp flower of the truth. So now we're just going to do a quick damage test. Also, I have no cookie buff or god pot currently. 
So on crit, I do a, around 3,000, 2,500 to 3,000 per hit with the aspect at the end. I nearly 3,200 there. All right, nice. Now we're going to see how much the uh, Fire of Truth does. Fire of Truth does 11.6k. Let's see my crit chance. 99% crit chance. So as you guys can see there, first, this, so this is actually the third day of the Sweat Co-op. And I can, I, I will definitely be able to one-shot Zots if I have a God Pot on. So as you guys can see, we have made a lot of progress. And we are still continuing to make so much more. My co-op has been absolutely grinding. Huge shout out to Charzy, Game Whales, and Hobo for putting in so much time and effort. No shout out to the one other co-op member as he's been slacking a lot. You know who you are. So now let's head back to the island and just look at the farming collections that our co-op has done. So as you guys can see, I have been 100% slacky in the farming and have mainly been focusing on my skill levels so I can farm Zealots once we get the, the proper set to do so. So currently our next objective is to set up a cocoa bean farm because you can make a lot of money from replenish books. So we've been farming a bunch of nether wart. As you can see, Hobo has farmed 1.3 million nether wart just by himself. Charzy 743k and Game was 131k. Potatoes, we haven't done that many. Pumpkins, we've done a decent amount. And then over to Shurricane, we've done a good amount. And wheat, we've also been doing wheat because we place um, in bronze for all the Jacobs events for wheat because not too many people do wheat. And that's just tons of extra money. We did a lot of those our first day on the co-op. So as you guys can see, my co-op member Hobo has full young dragon armor and a fire of the truth and has been zealot grinding for quite a while. Hopefully he can get as lucky as I usually get when zealot grinding. So as I said earlier, next order of business is to build a cocoa bean farm and for me to start grinding out uh, farming a lot and for me to zealot grind. As I know, that will probably be my primary money-making method for this series. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys do like and subscribe as we will be doing the next episode of this series very shortly. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.